so hello everyone welcome to the most requested video which is on clinical data management so in this particular video we will look at the cdm fundamentals we will also look at how the data flows into clinical trial and what clinical data management plays a role in it as well as we'll look into the interview questions of clinical data management and how you can crack along with what is the salary or compensation in clinical research without wasting any further time let's begin So the key focus areas of this session would be we'll understand what is clinical data management then we'll move on to data flow in clinical data management where we will understand how the data flows from one stakeholders to another and how it plays an important role in clinical research then we will look into the cdm interview questions we will look at the basic questions of cdm and then cdm specific questions which would be able to help you in cracking cdm interviews Finally we will be looking at what is the salary in CDM and what can you expect once you enter this field Now let us understand what exactly is clinical data management Before we begin make sure that you subscribe to this channel so that it provides me motivation to create quality videos Let's begin So clinical data management is a process of collecting and managing the research data which is clinical research data in accordance to the regulatory standards to obtain a quality information that is complete and error free so in clinical data management we manage or collect the research data which is the clinical research data and it is in accordance to the regulatory standards so we will only collect data that is authorized by the regulatory authority and how that data should be the data should be of quality as well as that data should be complete and error free okay so this is a holistic definition of clinical data management next thing is what is the goal of clinical data management this is the fundamental question that they will ask you so the goal of clinical data management is to gather as much as data as possible for analysis and this particular data should adhere to the federal state and local regulations okay so you cannot be collecting all kinds of data but only that data that is pertinent to your research and that is allowed by the federal state or the local regulations next would be the inherent goal of clinical data management is to produce data of a certain quality okay so why so data is collected throughout the clinical research but why do you need clinical data management that is to have a quality parameters to ensure that whatever data is being collected is of a certain quality if there are any errors then data management would rectify them and would put certain checks and balances to collect quality data so that is clinical data management now let us understand what is data flow in clinical data management because it is very important you to for you to understand how the data is collected and how it flows from one stakeholders to other leading to the final submission to the regulatory authorities okay so in this particular image you can see the data flow in clinical data management so first of all you need to design a particular protocol in which you define what kind of data would be collected and who are involved in this particular activity data manager database engineers data entry associate medical coder and quality control associate so they these guys are involved in collecting data rectifying data and managing the data so first and foremost we will create a protocol design then we will design a data management plan in which we clearly write what kind of data is to be collected how are we going to manage it and why is it required in clinical research and what role would it play once the data management plan is finalized we move on to case report form design okay so we will create form which would require certain data to be entered then we will create a database design and this database would collect all the data okay once the trial begins we have data capture where the data would be entered and captured once the data is captured there would be certain kind of errors in that data we run quality control we run data validation in them and once all the data is resolved we achieve the database lock once the database lock is achieved you cannot ent enter or modify the data that is database lock 
once all the data has been cleaned and it is being locked it is sent to statistical analysis where your sas software is used and that comes into play once the statistical analysis has been completed you get a certain data format or certain data analysis which clearly tells you that how the clinical trial went and what is the quality outcome which is then reported okay to the regulatory authority and then that final data is published okay so if anyone asks you how the data flows in clinical trials and how the data is managed at various stages this should be your flow of answer now the next step would be once you are into clinical data management what would be the interview questions in it what can you expect so let's begin so first and foremost there would be a certain basic question for clinical data management and these questions are very similar to clinical research operations as well as pharmacovigilance so first they will ask you about what is clinical uh, trial or clinical research then different phases of clinical trial along with historical events such as nuremberg trial declaration of helsinki tuskegee syphilis study along with they will ask you what are adverse event and serious adverse event then terminology such as placebo masking blinding okay you should be well versed with them then what is a patient file or a subject file and what information would you find in a particular patient file then i say gcp principle along with declaration of helsinki now latest uh, we have the e6 r3 okay so all of you haven't seen e6 r3 i have posted a video just go and check it out now we'll also see uh, how is safety ensured in clinical trial okay so this particular questions that would compile to basic question of clinical data management now let us look at cdm specific interview questions so first and foremost they would ask you the definition of clinical data management and what role does it play in clinical research once you are aware with that they will ask you about the role of data in clinical research and what is its application in entire cdm process so you have to explain the entire uh, pictorial representation which i uh, explained in a uh, few time ago okay then they will ask you regarding clinical data management plan so what is a data management plan what are the components of it why is a data management plan required following that they will ask you attributes of the data which includes in the alcoa principles so again i have made a video on alcoa you can go and check it out that is very critical in cdm they will ask you about various guidelines for clinical data management how the data should be adhered to according to us fda according to your regulatory authority as well as questions such as how do you reduce the inaccuracy of data how data reporting should be and once you are at data validation process then what is the role of statistical analysis how sas runs and how that would be helpful in the outcome of the clinical trial finally there would be questions such as if you are in a data management role then what your role is of prominence in clinical trial what does a data manager do so you should be well aware of all these questions and you would find that answers to this question would make you very capable of cracking clinical research or clinical data management specific interviews now finally a lot of students are interested in knowing what is the salary or compensation in clinical data management so when it comes to compensation so there are compensation for various role if you are uh, at a fresher role which is clinical data analysis your salary is somewhere around 2.5 to 4 lakhs once you move ahead into clinical data specialist role the salary range is around 4 to 6 lakhs per annum and once there is a senior data specialist role the salary moves upwards to 8 to 12 lakhs per annum and finally the salary of clinical data management uh, data manager sorry would be anywhere around 12 to 20 uh, lakhs per annum now please note this salary that i have taken is an average of various range from various uh, companies websites my colleagues in clinical research and clinical data management so this this is an average range so it would give you a rough estimate that what you can expect at a particular role so thank you for watching this video if you liked it make sure that you uh, like share and subscribe uh, with your colleagues and let them help and grow in their career and thank you for watching this video